I am studying 9th Sushruta. My priority is flash detecting system of your vehicle. When we are going in a car, suddenly flash came. It will indicate how much level water indicates with LEDs. Now I will show really. You can listen, listen siren. Here you can see the uh, how much level of water. It, in emergency case, it will call to our fa family members and uh, give you a long, loud range of buzzer ring. Okay. So it is helpful in disaster management. Yes, yes, ma'am. It is work on Arduino and GSM module. GSM module. Okay. So it has sensors in it. Yes, yes, ma'am. Water level sensor it is in down. Can you get this idea from? From recently in India, so many crops came and so many people are dying. Uh, some members are injured, no, no, ma'am. That's why I get this idea. Why in India, see, this many people are dying? That's thing, robot. In some situations, uh, this, this is the title of the project. The required materials of this project are, you can see the pictures of them. Three flame sensors, Arduino Uno, motor driver module, relay module, and a thermometer, and a 5 volt pump inside, and lithium and batteries, and a 4 BO motors. In some situation, we can see that the fire fighters will go into the house and they will extinguish the fire, but it is very dangerous because in some situations they can lose their life, so that this project will detect the fire. See, when I lit the fire, immediately it started rotating and it will go near the fire and it will sprinkle the water on it. Okay. This is the water tank. Okay. This is the fire hole pump inside. Mm -hmm. Then it will sprinkle the water on it. Then we can save the property and the life of the people. Okay. Do we have any doubts? How to have this? Okay, okay. So, it comes from the disaster management. Disaster management and response. Okay. So, where did you get this idea from? Means uh, I uh, went to the fire fighting station one day. Okay. We have one program uh, there. Uh, they thought uh, they we have only fire, only fire. Like we have seen one project over there, which is about the flood disaster management. Ah, yes. So it senses water through the sensors. So it senses fire here. Yes. It, it is not sensitive to any other elements like water or any such. Ah. Only fire. Yes. Good afternoon, I am Sana from Grade 8 of Bella Open Match International School, Karim Nagar. So, my project is called Floating Waste Meter Collecting Machine in Water. So, this net works as a conveyor belt and helps to collect the trash in water. It works with the help of batteries. This trash gets collected and gets stored in the storage area. Oh. Where did you get the inspiration to make this from online? From online and also uh, commonly we are seeing that uh, water pollution is a very common problem and uh, uh, this is, which is harming the marine life, humans and uh, aquatic life as well. So to uh, reduce the problem I made this machine to collect the floating ma uh, waste in water which uh, can help reduce trash and uh, uh, keep the and in this prototype uh, what is the mechanism so uh, this works uh, with the help of batteries this dc motors is connected to the net and this marker helps in rotating uh, when we switch uh, this works with the help of batteries uh, when we switch it on uh, this net works we turn it on is it a vehicle or we have to do we have to arrange it uh, to any ship or boats as no, such? It's a separate vehicle, no need to arrange it. Uh, okay, no it moves on, it travels on its own. Yes, uh, when we switch it on or uh, operate it, will directly turn on and uh, instead of uh, human forces, which can save time and energy also with this machine. It helps to save time and energy and also. Uh, I am Binary of grade 10 from Villa Open Minds International School. I am here to present my model, Train Collision Avoidance System. Okay. Uh, it is to prevent train accidents. We use IR sensor that detects any obstacle in front of the train. So infrared, IR yes, infrared. infrared. Oh. And the train stops. Okay. 
Where are the sensors arranged? It will be uh, in front of the train, not only straight, in the sideways also we arrange the sensors oh, okay. to detect the object and the train stops. Mm -hmm. okay. Where did you get the inspiration uh, to do, make this prototype? Like uh, recently the Coromandel train accident took place right in yeah. 2023. So I thought to prevent this train accident, something new idea. I want to save many lives. Uh, they should not get uh, uh, injured due to this train accident. So that's the reason I have chosen this. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Sanchez Guira. I am from Paramita Heritage School. I am studying in Paramita Heritage School from Padmanagar, Karimnagar. So my project title is Solar Power Multipurpose Sieving Machine. India is an agricultural country and most of the population are marginal farmers. These farmers don't use modern machines for many reasons. Some of the main reasons why our farmers are not using modern machines are Number 1. They are not affordable Number 2. They are not portable Number 3. They are only unifunctional And Number 4. They are not eco-friendly Causing air cell as sound pollution Now, even if a farmer can afford this type of machine He still faces problems such as Number 1. The 24 by 7 ability of uh, the electric uh, And the, also the maintenance of the machine in the rural areas Now let me tell you the main parts of the machine First, Number 8, we have the battery. Number 9, we have a solar charge controller. Number 10, we have the wheels. Now, we have found that there are many problems for a farmer and this machine can solve them. Now, let me tell you the objective of our machine. Number 1, to make a machine that can be easily used by unskilled labor. You can see over here, the sand goes inside the dropper pan from the carrying pan. And over here, you will feel this different type of rocks over here and also the small sand. Can you work on solar energy? Yes. Where did you get this inspiration to make this uh, prototype? What the is inspiration? Uh, the inspiration from my project is uh, when I was building my home two years ago. The construction I saw the construction workers they are they are very troubled because of the manual sieving techniques. They were very large and they are very hard to use. There was at least two to three or four members that were operating on that machine. So I felt uh, I felt sad by looking at them. So I got this. My name is Nagavendra Rao. I'm studying from 10th class. My school name is ZBHS Valley, Pandal Mana Kondu. This project name is Without Electricity, Air Compressor, Air Compressor and Mobile Puncher Service. This material required are auto, air compressor, belt, iron bar and cutter machine, welding machine and drilling machine. This is principle of electrical energy with the electrical motor air compressor and working fulfilling a air tank with the help of help of auto engine e inspiration ekkada nunchi vachindi it's cheyali ani ante ippudu road lalla ba puncher light ga vere lari vachi alaki ibbandi idha malla vere rashtram nunchi rendu iskovali avanni idha
okay this is solar power process fail this is own process generator idi solar manam enduku tayar chesam ante idi manam process anedi okade sari mottham ekko motadala span chesukochu alane manaki tagganta spray anedi vaadukochu natural fertilizers andulo vesi manam easy as process alane natural ga pandisthe manaki ikka kalusham kuda kaadu ekko manaki ప్రొడ్యూస్ అవుతుంది అలానే మనకి ఎక్కువ దిగుబడి వచ్చే అవకాశం ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మనం స్పెషల్స్ అనేది చాలా డీసెంట్గా స్ట్రై చేయాల్సి ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఇది సోలార్ సోలార్తో అన్యం అవుతుంది కాబట్టి ఎలక్ట్రిసి ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ అవసరం లేదు డీజిల్ అవసరం లేదు పెట్రోల్ అవసరం లేదు జస్ట్ సోలార్ ప్యానెల్ ఉంటే చాలు దీంతో ప్రొసెస్ అనేది చాలా ఈజీగా ఈజీగా అంటే ఈజీగా కొట్టుకోవచ్చు మనకి ఎంత అవసరం ఉంటే అంత లిమిట్లో కొట్టుకోవచ్చు దట్స్ ఇట్ ఫట్ all of you to take minutes breakfast at least twice in a week these are the types of minutes first one is general thank you for giving me this opportunity